Two months after the layoff started, only about half of the people who have filed for unemployment have been paid. And now information about what is happening or not happening with those folks hired to take your calls at the Department of Economic Opportunity has Democrats looking for answers tonight. Channel 9's Shannon Butler explains. People all over the state are telling us the same story over and over again, that the unemployment call center here in Florida is a joke. Out of work, workers are struggling not only for money, but for answers from the hundreds of people hired to man the Department of Economic Opportunities phones. Our unemployment system is not working. Millions of dollars was used to hire those employees after the Connect system at the state was overrun with applications and phone calls, calls that nobody was answering. Now when people do get a person on the phone, they tell us that nobody can help them. And call takers say that too, that they have no authority to do anything to get a person's claim filed. In fact, they say they can't even use the submit button. It's grayed out. And today, State Senator Jason Pizzo said he knows all about it. That not only have a glorified frequently asked question page, but they're also directed to deflect and try to diffuse people's angry statements. And so does State Senator Linda Stewart. She says her office gets 300 emails a day and a dozen calls an hour. Just about unemployment claims not paid out. She says outside vendors were used to hire those call takers and many of them were out of state. So fed up, she'll drive tonight to Tallahassee to try to meet with John Satter tomorrow. As far as just having a human answer the phone, they just want their money. Right. I don't want somebody just answering the phone. In Orlando, Shannon Butler, Channel 9 Eyewitness News.